it's like being in Bonn the first time? What was the experience like? Who's that for? Oh, oh you coach, sorry. What was the question again? Uh, what was your experience like in Bonn? It was a great experience. Uh, the people ran everything in a first class way. The food was great. Um, we understand the weather was pretty good. It had, uh, you know, at least it's pretty good for us. I don't know what we're going back to. Madison won, but everything was done well, everything was run well, um, and we were proud to represent, represent our school and our state. So how for the first couple minutes of the second half, obviously you go in with a sheet, you go in with a lead, and you know, to late basket, just how critical was that spurry, just to set a tone for the second half? Yeah, we, we needed that. Um, you know, Frank had been safe for quite a while. Very rarely, I think once in all my years of coaching, did I put a guy in with two uh, in, the, in the first half, and it was because it was a player that just really didn't foul a lot. Um, and I didn't have him guard me. A real good shooter on the other team. So, but when you're a big and you pick up two, a lot of times on the dribble attacks, you, you're putting a big in a, in a bad position. So, uh, you, you needed to save him for the second. Frank, sort of uh, picking off your uh, <clears throat> pissed off comment uh, on the court over there. You didn't play as well yesterday. Then you pick up the two fouls. During that long time that you're sitting, what, what, were, what were you thinking about as to sort of the last 24 hours, how that had gone for you? Um, I was a little frustrated, to be honest, but um, I realized that it was a close game and I needed to be the best player that I could be for our team to win the game. And I just tried to come out in the second half and bring some energy. Um, I had a, a lot of rest time, so I was had some fresh legs. And, just tried to make some plays happen.